FTW Broadcasting here for the win. We bring you Hot StarCraft 2 action. Thanks for joining us, folks. My name is AWOL, and joining me, as always, is my boy, Danny. We are a proud partner with the UEN.com and the map you're looking at right now. A rare treat. We love it. Shakuras Plateau. We downloaded this one from Gosu Gamers. Thanks, guys, for the replay. And this is game two in the Extreme, I'm sorry, Intel Extreme Masters semifinals. My pick is here in the bottom right hand corner, MTW Diamaga, a member of Mortal Teamwork. You've heard of him before because he's one of the most dangerous Zerg players in the entire universe. Moving to the left hand side of the map is Danny's pick, the man who picked, who pulled down last game, Yellow Terran, Murs, and he is a member of Team Dignitas. Yeah, absolutely, Murs, and if you haven't heard of him, you will hear of him soon as the uh, player who just clean-sweeped one of the most dangerous Zerg players in the entire world. And we are here on Shakuras Plateau, and uh, you're getting pretty good at that weird Protoss voice. It was pretty good this time, actually. I give it a uh, 5 out of 10. 5? All right, if I go up one point per cast, I'll be, like, dead on eventually. It's really hard to do that voice, though, because uh, Blizzard uses all kinds of flange effects and stuff when they do Protoss voices. Yeah, sure. Excuses, excuses. And meanwhile, we see this Overlord. He's flying over uh, what you and I like to call the kill zone on this map. Love to see players on this map so close like this where they have this little just, you know, you take down the rocks on both ends and you basically just have just a awesome, awesome battlefield field where there's... Uh, kind of an expansion either player could get, but I don't think either could technically hold. If you look at looking at it right now, it actually, ironically, looks like a smiley face with the Vespian geysers and the uh, minerals there, which is uh, ironic because that's where many, many people are going to lose their lives. It is, and so I think that's going to make us happy, and uh, the Blizzard developers, I guess, happy. Maybe that's a little inside joke from them. And speaking of inside, this Mer Merz's SCV is getting inside the base here, hopping right inside this mineral line, taking a look around. He knows the expansion has gone up, as well as the spawning pool went down at 15, I believe. And so he knows his opponent is macroing it up. Actually, not a bad move on this map. We've seen a lot of pros do that. Yeah, absolutely. And Zerg, all about that macro. You just want to just macro up as much as you can and just get out way ahead so that you can just throw wave after wave of your own men at your opponent and... I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Daimaga just pushing right through this kill zone right here, taking these rocks down as soon as possible. We see that Overlord. Is the Overlord going to go down? No, he's going to get away with 45 hit points. Which right, so that hurts. He's going to have to regen a little bit, though. He'll be all right. All right good old Overlords. Meanwhile, uh, Merz decided, I'm going to macro up a little bit myself. I'm going to get my expansion down. And we see the Roach Warren, <laughs> excuse me, for Daimaga going down. So it looks like he's going to go with Roaches. Are going to be a good counter to... Uh, to what if Merz c continues to go with his heavy uh, marauders like we saw last time. So uh, we saw Damaga get the roaches out last time. We didn't see him use a whole bunch of them. So uh, we'll see if he sticks with uh, you know pumping out the roaches or if he just goes with his zerglings like before. I think the roaches would be the better choice. They're a little, uh, little meteor. You can really make a big difference, especially with their new range upgrade from a couple patches ago in this uh, killing field. Here. I keep talking about the killing field. I want to see some action in the killing field. I'm really, really excited for it. Uh, me too, me too. We'll see if they bust down the rocks back there. We've seen other plays uh, where they just decide to go over the, the roundabout way because they don't want to open up the door to their own base. So we'll see how that turns out. I mean, if you look at the way Merz is uh, defending his base right now, dropping a bunker at his front ramp, ramp excuse me, and not even uh, setting up any defenses at his back door on that destructible rocks. So he's pretty confident that this battle's going to happen in the front, at least for this part of the replay. Yeah, I guess we're going to have a little bit of a gentleman's game here. No back door, so that that you know that makes me sad. Everybody loves uh, love to see uh, the um, that little back door action there. And meanwhile, we see the roaches are now moving across. I don't know if those roaches are going to be able to do much on against this bunker up here on the hill right now. So I expect them to uh, move forward and then immediately kind of like scoot back. Like we'll see exactly what happens. They're doing a little dance there as they all get grouped up, and here we go. Yeah, they're getting grouped up. I don't think they're going to be able to do much either. They're going to get pumped. Yeah, they realize. Daimaga realizes. What is, he gonna, what is he doing here? I mean, he's just taking a look around, I think. Uh, losing one Roche already. <clears throat> Trying to get in there, take down as many SCVs as he can. These Roaches are bloodthirsty. He doesn't care. He's getting pumped full of bullets, doing everything he can. Almost all of those Roaches died. One of them scooting up in here. Uh, at the very least, he is getting a scout on, seeing what kind of tech. Uh, Definitely scouting out that double factory. My cat is going buckwild right now, loving this StarCraft 2 action. The Roach have, really having a look around. 
just running amok right now, Danny. Those Marines just can't seem to take him down. He's so buck wild. He is a predator. Oh, and he finally goes down. I really liked uh, that Roach's spirit. Yeah, he had a, you know, he was a, you know, a good spirit there. You know, he was definitely nice, tr nice, nice work there. Just really, I, that was really surprising from Daimaga there. You saw the the roaches going in. They pulled back like I expected, but then he just like, you know what? Sacrificial roaches. We're going right in. We're gonna take out a couple of SCVs. And we're gonna see what's going on. So maybe that's gonna work out for him in the long run. We see the spire going down as well as the bane linked this. Uh, so he's going to be doing a bust through this this front gate here. Here instead of uh, going in the back, I would like to see him go in the back instead. But the banelings are gonna be a good choice for that as well as uh, the mutilist. He can do some really nice harass with the mutilist, just kind of sliding right up back and down down here because it's just a quick little hop from his base to. Uh, Merz's base, so we'll see what happens after there. Meanwhile, Merz is just really uh, defending up here. He's got uh, he had a siege tank out there at the front gate, but now he's actually taking down his rocks. So it looks like he says, "I'm going to move forward now." Uh, and, and he's got a really nice wall here at the front, so maybe he is planning to wall off his front and then use his back as these uh, plan his attack. It'll be interesting to see just how that works out in the long run. Baneling speed and Zergling speed on the way right now, as well as the Evolution Chamber and another hatchery. So a second expansion going up for time. Daimaga and hidden up here. He's got his uh, Overlord just kind of peeking over that way just to keep an eye on it. Meanwhile, we've got uh, just a little fight. Zergling on Marine action, and yeah, the Marine's going to win every time in that one. Right? Because remember that Zergling is only worth about half a Marine. Yeah, it is. It, uh, for some reason, I was flashing back to Starship Troopers there. He was shooting that Zergling in its nerve sensors. Well, oh, that Zergling took him down. That was disgusting. And uh, we see some uh, drones heading up to saturate this top right-hand corner expansion. Great move there. And I like how Damaga's moving his Zerglings out, scouting him around the map, checking things out. Uh-oh, we've got a force rolling into the death zone. We're passing the smiley face right now, and I bet you have a... I can't see you right now, Danny, but I bet you have a smiley face right now because your pick is going down here and he's going to start applying pressure. However, that did get spotted, obviously, so Daimaga is going to be well aware. How is he going to react to this situation? Because this is a really heavy force moving in. Oh, he's got those mutilists coming in and they don't want to quite go in. There's too many Marines for those three mutilists, so he's going to have to decide. Meanwhile, the sea snakes have sieged up. The mutilists are now coming in and they get a couple of quick spot shots on. Uh, but they are in a bad spot. Dunlong has got to do something. He needs to pull a force back of some variety. He's got some Bane Links, so we'll see exactly what happens uh, and if Merz is going to push in. That is a lot of siege tanks. God, that's a lot of siege tanks. we got a couple spine crawlers going down here to try to protect this main. Uh, looking at the production tab. I mean, what is he going to do here? Everything's moving in the front door right now. We have a ton of Bane Links coming over, though. Uh, and uh, the Mutalists are trying to get as many pot shots as they can. Uh, but Daimaga is waiting to build up a large enough ground force to move in, which is a really good idea. Otherwise, everything will get melted. The spine crawler does go up, the second spine crawler, that is. But it's just going to get blasted by that siege tank. It's going to go down in no time. Really, those spine crawlers are just a delay tactic as additional spine crawlers go in. This is a, almost a desperation move by Daimaga. Looks like he's going to try to bring the mutilus mutas from the back on the distract and probably move the banelings in from the other side. Let's see what happens here. And a nice move, taking down that siege tank immediately. However, a bunker just went up as well.